welcome back to our class so today we are going to be looking at punctuated equilibrium and gradualism so we are going to compare the two and see where do they differ don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel and don't forget to like our video ah. So if you look at, at these two diagrams, one is showing a punctuated equilibrium and then another one is showing gradualism. <clears throat> uh, gradualism, it shows that uh, a species uh, change gradually. They change gradually over a great period of time. There is no rush in the changing. They change from this point to this point, but it, the, the change is um, gradual. It is not fast, it's just um, a gradual change. From this point, you see that this rat is trying to change to another color and then to a lighter color and then a very uh, light color or bright color. And then if you look at this, still is the same. It shows that there is a, is a gradual change from this point to this point, it did happen just in a single event. It happened over a long period of a time, over many generations. That is gradualism. While in punctuated equilibrium, you see that uh, the rat started from here. Yes, it's the same as this. So it, it, it keeps uh, the same for a long period of time. But this rat is the same which gave uh, rise to this. Yes, so when it reached here, suddenly, yes, within a short period of time, it changed from this color to this color. So when it was here, it changed from this to this immediately without a long period of time. So in punctuated equilibrium, it shows like maybe a mutation occurred and then um, the, the, the organism changes uh, rapidly within a short period of time and then becomes like this from this point to this point immediately and then it remains like that for a long period of time or when it reached here it changed from this color and then went to this color just within a short period of time while uh, if you look at this from this color to this color it took a long period of time for it to change from this point to this point and also took you know, a long period of time to change from this to this. So if you compare this root, and then you compare from here to here, this one shows that it's a, just a very short period of time. Uh, it happened, it, it changed within a very short period of time, while this one took a long period of time. The same story here, it shows that this rat just changed within a short period of time, it became like this. If you compare it with this, so it took a long period of time. So gradualism, in actual sense, <clears throat> gradualism require a long period of time for it to happen while punctuated equilibrium requires a very short period of time for it to happen and then uh, gradualism uh, it is gradual is gradual while this one uh, it has some periods of uh, no change and then periods of rapid change periods of no change if you look at it and then periods of rapid change so it has a period of no change and then has a period of uh, rapid change uh, so that is what you call um, uh, gradualism and punctuated equilibrium let's look at it saying that it explains this punctuated equilibrium it explains the speed at which evolution takes place at which speed is evolution taking place so we are saying that uh, evolution involves long periods of, uh, of time long periods of uh, time where the species does not change um, does not change or change gradually through natural selection. This is known as uh, equilibrium. So um, if you look at it, 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 it is from this point to this point, it's the same, period of no change, period of no change. It is just the way it is. Or we can say a period of, uh, it's just a gradual, gradually through natural selection. Gradually, this is the gradually, through natural selection. Period of no, of no change, we are talking about this, we are talking from this point to this point, from this point to this point, because these rats are the same. They are the same. They are not changing. But if you look at um, gradually through natural selection, then this is the period you are talking about, or this is the period you are talking about. So during this period, yes, we call it equilibrium. And then we are saying that this alternates. 
it 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 as it it has period of um no change it alternates <clears throat> this alternates with what you call uh, punctuated uh, punctuated that is short periods of uh, of time short periods of time where rapid um changes occur this is uh, through natural selection during which new species may form in a short period of what in a short period of time so we are seeing that uh, from this point to this point, rapid change happens. Yes, it could be also uh, as a result of what? Natural selection, but species form within a short period of what? Within a short period of time. Basically, that is uh, what you call punctuated equilibrium and gradualism. Gradualism, you find out that um, organisms, uh, they take a long period of time before they change, while punctuated equilibrium takes a short period of time, there is a long period of no change, long period of no change, and then rapid change, long period of no change or rapid change. They can ask you a question. Uh, explain how did the tiger came up with uh, stripes using gradualism or using punctuated equilibrium. So in this case, for when you explain in terms of punctuated equilibrium, you have to bring the um, that uh, there, there was a rapid change. There, you have to include uh, the spots became uh, become became bigger and then became stripes within a short period of time. So there was um, just a short period of time. Then these uh, tigers with spot became uh, stripes. And then uh, for gradualism, you have to tell us a long period of time. took a long period of time before uh, these tigers became up uh, came up with uh, the stripes. Let's look at. Uh, uh, let's look at uh, artificial selection. What is because we have.